Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rizid and today I'm talking about the economy system of address calls online. And this ladies and gentlemen is the auction house of address calls online. It looks like an auction house, it feels like an auction house, it is an auction house as in other games that you know in the MMO sector um, it's easy to use, it's easy to understand um, I think they did a great job with the menu uh, so I had no issues whatsoever in selling or buying what I want to buy or what I want to sell they could maybe insert a few more filters uh, to make searching for uh, a couple of material based items a little bit easier so as you see you can browse through everything you have the different uh, the different filters so I'm searching for a two-handed weapon and let's take a two-handed maze put in my level range you can also add the price range and also the quality of the items so as you see uh, there is not a lot of options right now it's because uh, it's only one guild and that's the major issue with this system and that is what I was actually criticizing in my first video my point so far is that the cons outweigh the pros of the system and let me give you some examples so Buying and selling items in order to make profit. You buy items that are underpriced and you sell them for a reasonable price. Or you speculate and you make a high price. I think in the current system of Elder Scrolls Online, this is not going to be very effective. I'm not saying it's not going to be possible, but it's not going to be very effective. Because you have to switch between stores. Now I know what some of you guys are thinking. You say, oh, but there will be only one major trading guild and everyone is going there. True. But how long will it take until one guild out of hundreds of thousand guilds will want to be a trading comp and the trading comp for the faction until everything has crystallized? We talk about what, two months, three months? 